if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I do all things baby and more. Today, I'm gonna be doing another DIY project. This is my DIY series. As you guys know, I'm going to be decorating for Christmas very, very soon. Today, we're November 18th. So this weekend is gonna be an explosion of Christmas. So far, I've been doing a couple accents here and there for Christmas, just so you know my family can get into the spirit before slapping them with a lot of Christmas decorations. So today we're gonna be doing some um, decorative cone trees. So the Christmas trees that you see on, I think you can find it at Target. I personally found mine at Winners, the sparkle ones that are just filled with glitter. Those are not the ones that I wanna do, even though I did buy them because I find that like the sparkles don't really go on the floor as much as, as if I would've done it myself because believe me, sparkles in my house it's a disaster so i'd rather do the cones with um so the decorations i'm going to be doing it's more of a snow wonderland with sparkles here and there with rustic accents just because my house is very has a lot of wood accents here and there so i want these cone trees to be kind of like rustic so for these cones you will need um project paper the ones that cost like 79 cents jute rope so they're basically these i got these at the dollar so i got two i might need one more tape hot glue gun scissors a ruler and a pencil and actually this right here okay so i'm gonna measure out actually i want to see how i can use the most of my paper I measure out 22 inches here. I have this um, ribbon that I use for balloons and I'm just gonna cut it to the same size, about approximately the same size. So I can attach it to one side over here and then the other side to the pen so I can trace my circle half okay. So now I have my sort of compass. I'm just gonna pick one side, make sure that you don't move this side. There you go. So I've traced the sort of one quarter of a, of a circle and now we're gonna go ahead and cut my keys so this is the piece that I'm left with right here now we're gonna proceed to roll it And don't worry if the, it doesn't roll as easily just because you're going to cover it with the rope anyway. Just make sure that it's able to stand because that's going to be your either centerpiece or decoration for another table. what I have is exactly the length that I want it in the width. You guys can always make it bigger as in length. Actually the length you can't really control unless you cut it the exact length that you want. I'm going to measure it to make sure that it's about 22 inches. Um, but this you can either make it as I mentioned bigger on the side or thinner. I kind of want it thinner because it gives it that like longer look. I'm just gonna fix here the top as you guys can see. You wanna make sure that that's closed as well. So what I did here, so it's closed, I folded the top part, the top part first and then rolled it. Just because when I roll it from the bottom up, I noticed that there was a gap here. So 
that's the approach you guys want to take. So now I'm going to proceed and secure everything together. My hubby gave me this from Kate Spade uh, when I first got my first ever dog. And this one says, make it stick. It's so cute. It has like hidden messages. Um, I also got my stapler that had another message that I can't remember what it said. I think it was like, keep it all together or something. As I mentioned, once if you haven't secured it completely, you can always play around to either make it thinner or thicker, depending on what your preference is. I just like it this way as well that it's not crooked. I think I'm gonna secure the inside as well. Just because I wanna really make sure that this doesn't open up after I put the rope around it and everything. Awesome. So this will be the base that we're gonna be working with. Now we're gonna go warm up the hot glue and we're gonna put the rope around it and see the final product. I'm just gonna measure out, make sure that it's 22 inches in height because that's essentially what I was trying to achieve. And if it is, I'll be really, really proud of myself. Wow. It's honestly 22 inches. I know you guys can see. I honestly didn't have faith that it was gonna work, but it did. So now let's proceed to hot glue the heck out of all of this. With hot glue, you really have to act fast because it dries pretty, pretty fast. We might be here for a while, so might as well put your favorite show on and enjoy the ride. Again, I'm not gonna put this too close to the edge just because I don't want it to tilt my um, tree because I made it. I made sure that it stands properly and it's not crooked. If I have enough rope, I'm going to make a tiny little tree for my daughter's um, kitchen because we always decorate her little kitchen depending on the season. So for Halloween, we put a little pumpkin. Now for Christmas, I want to put a little tree. Two thousand years later. Just when I thought I was never going to get done this. So I'm completely done. I have the top part here that I'm actually going to put inside the hole on the top. I'm just going to cover it a little bit more. I'm going to take this part right here um, so it goes easily through the hole. Okay, so I am finally done. Three ropes later. Oh, my hair. Sorry, guys. Um, so this DIY project took me about three of these ropes. Um, each bag was a dollar. I bought a pack of these glue sticks, another dollar, so four dollars there. The paper was 79 cents, but I'll just run it up to a dollar. So we have about five dollars um, that I've used for this small DIY project. As, again, this is a 22 inch tree. I already have my hot glue gun, so I'm not going to incorporate this into the cloth. I'm just gonna disconnect it here. I bought this tree from Winner. This tree was about $13.99. It's smaller than this one. I even got the bigger size of this one because that's the contrast I wanna make in my house, the sparkle and the glitter versus the rustic type. You can see some type of discoloration here, but I'm pretty sure with time it will go away just because I, I use two different types of rope. So before you start a DIY project, if you want, buy the ropes that you're gonna be using for the 22 inch, I use three different types of ropes and check the colors. So what I'm gonna be doing, the, the 22 inch version of this was about $20. So this is like a fraction of the cost, literally. So this is, Kind of like the look I'm going for, you know, this contrast. Just because I really, really like it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use the remaining of the paper that I have from this tree to make a smaller tree for Olivia's kitchen. And I'm also gonna use some of the rope that I'm gonna use for Olivia's kitchen just to cover up here at the bottom. But so far, I'm actually really impressed. And the tree itself is actually pretty heavy. So I know it's gonna hold still pretty well. So I'm very, very happy. Let me know if you guys try this DIY project. Let me know how it goes, uh, what the final product is. Do tag me on Instagram, I would love to see it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the small tree. I'm just gonna put it in a fast pace so you guys can quickly see what I'm gonna be doing. So this small tree is gonna be about this small tree is about 12 inches. This tree right here is about 18 inches. So we have 12, 18, and 22 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to tape the secure the whole tree and then I'm gonna proceed to do the rope around the tree 